Hello students, welcome to the YouTube channel Eternal Easy Education. In this session, you are going to learn chapter 7, Looping Structure. Among the looping structure, in this video, you are going to learn while, do while, loop. You know, looping structure. What is the meaning of looping? Executing a statement of group of statements multiple times is said to be looping. In PHP, there are four loops. In the previous video, you have learned what is for loop, what is for each loop. In this video, you are going to learn while and do while. While loop is an important feature which is used for simple iteration logics. It is checking the condition whether true or false. It executes the loop if specified condition is true. Same working principle of for loop. That is the condition. It will check the condition. If the condition is true, the loop of the while is executed or else it will come out of the loop. Here you must know what is entry check loop. Actually for loop also entry check loop. That means it will execute the first part of the execution. That means in the count it is 1 to 10. It will execute only the condition is true because the first Initialization, then condition checking. If the condition true, it will execute the first count. So it is said to be entry check loop. While loop also entry check loop. See the syntax while within the bracket condition. If the condition is true, it will execute. This is the simple syntax. Now we'll see an example. Um, before that, we'll see this working principle. First one is initialization. Do you remember the for loop will have three things? Init counter, test counter, then increment counter. Here it is splitted, but all the loop will require the initialization, condition, and updation. Initialization is on the top. While condition is given here, if the condition is true, it will execute the statements and the add. At the end point, there is a updation. Then it will again go for the condition checking. Now the condition is true means it will execute. Again, it will do the updation. If the condition is true, uh, after updation, it will check the condition. If the condition is true, it will execute the statement. It will keep on working like this until the condition is false. If the condition is fail, then it will come out of the loop. This is the working principle of while. See the example here. Init counter is on the first line. I value is 1. Here while I less than or equal to 4. So after initialization, this will check the condition. If the condition is true, it will execute. If the After this line, it will check the condition. If the condition is true, it will execute. Then do the increment but after that again it will go for the condition checking if it is true again it will execute then it go for the increment again it will come for the condition checking it will keep on repeating like this we will see with the example see the while loop here for is having three segments do you remember same thing here initialization here condition here increment only the things are changed in the syntax so we'll execute how to execute you know very well http while loop dot php can you see the output number i one two three four is it clear children now see what does do i same thing as it is in while loop only difference is it is an exit check loop what is the meaning of exit check loop exit check means it will check the condition at the end how it is possible See the structure do execution 
at the end y condition is true followed by a semicolon can you see the difference while is at the bottom do keyword is on the top so the condition is checked at the last so what is the advantage as we are having y why we are having do y do while advantages it will executes the statement even it will execute the statement once even the given condition is false what is the meaning as while is a entry check loop after checking only the execution takes place so if the condition is false at the starting point means it will not execute even a single line but in do while as the condition is checked at the end it will execute the coding inside the do once we'll see with the example or see the work flow chart of the do while do something then check the condition is it clear so this happens at least once then only it is going to check the condition if it is true means it will go again and execute and do it repeatedly until the given condition is false but if the condition is false at the starting point itself but as it is doing this segment first then the condition is checking in the second step so the do while will execute once even though the given condition is false see the same program but it is changed to do while here instead of while it is do the while statement is given at the back followed by a semicolon here is the while see the do while same program instead of while it is do can you see that while here it is do and the open brace close brace here also same segment instead of the while at the top the while is at the bottom in do while same output is going to come for this program so i am commenting the while we are going to display only the do while program save why it is fine can you check this i equal to 5 okay echo 5 so 5 is given i plus plus that means 5 will change to 6 here i am asking 6 less than 4 no condition is false but can you see one output is here that is do while i'll repeat see i equal to 5 so first is do do segment so it is echo dollar i so i is printed then 5 is incremented 5 is incremented to 6 here that is a condition 6 less than 4 condition is false even though condition is false i am getting one output see it is 5 5 less than 4 also false but if you have the same thing in do while uh, same thing in while you will not get the output see same thing dollar uh, i is going to change as 5 check we will not get the output for while it is 1 okay here also it is 1 now you see all this while also will give the output do while also will give the output because the same thing i less than equal to 4 here also i less than equal to 4 less than or equal to 4 here i is 1 here also i is 1 yes number is 1 2 3 4 here there is, here only we are printing i so 1 2 3 4 same okay but 
if there is a change check it is fine because the first itself the condition is false here also first the condition is false as here the condition is checked and the reserve output so this while will not have any output only do while is going to give the output is not changed is it clear so while and do while are same working principle only difference with the do while is do while will execute at least one even though the given condition is false so we have to decide where we have to use while and where we have to use do while I hope you have understood this concept. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, subscribe this channel to watch the upcoming videos. Thank you. Have a good day.